Y'all ain't ready, uh-uh Y'all ain't ready, uh-uh Y'all ain't ready, let's go, we be go so steady, uh-huh Y'all ain't ready, uh-uh Y'all ain't ready, uh-uh Y'all ain't ready, that's all we be go so steady Just like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we ain't done now 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we ain't done now In the zone, touchdown like a Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Understand that the nerve. Have you heard the news? The nerve verse is going crazy. My timeline is wilding right now. Give, give me a second. Yeah, man, I, I know you heard. I know you heard, man. They be talking about it everywhere. That Batman is back, baby. You know, I'm proud. I'm happy, man. Uh, you know, reprising my role and everything like that. Nah, but on the real, on the real though, Ben Affleck, man, Ben Affleck is gonna be in the new Flash movie coming in 2022. I'm happy. I like Ben Affleck as Batman. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So this is exciting news right now, bro. But even with that going on, it's not about me. No, 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 no. See, I gotta start this off with gratitude, like I usually do, man. We on day 20 or 30. This is the home stretch of the average show campaign, man. 10 days left. Grateful for the 48. Let's step that up in 10 days if we can, man. But either way, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And speaking of speaking of gratitude, man. Speaking of gratitude, man. I gotta show gratitude to my boy, man. Cause uh if you this is some never before seen work average joe stuff right now and if you're wondering why those colors look so dope man it's because my boy man you know i call him a friend you know i know him for about a year now you know the cut you if you're wondering why the colors have so much drip to it hold on hold on let me just take it a little bit oh my god if you're wondering man how this came about man the dude i talk about every single day when I mention all these prints and all these all these variants and all that stuff, that's my boy Jamel Lessie, man. And he's here with us today, man, because, yes, Absolver number two is coming soon. So we about to learn a lot more about this right here. We about to learn a lot more about this gentleman right here and where he come from and where he stands from. So matter of fact, let me just bring my boy on right now. Let me bring my boy on right now. Yo, Jamel, what's good, bro? Yo, what's good, fam? Yo, how you doing, bro? I'm finally good. in here. I'm, you, I'm go ahead, go ahead. You finally in here, huh? Yes, yeah, bro. All right, man. I, I see that. I see you got the potions, the, the commissions in the back. What's that? That's some absorber back there. What's that on your wall? Yeah, back there? Um, honestly, this is like my first uh, absorber commission ever done. Really? Remain Bennett. Dope. Uh -huh. You get a sneak peek of something to come. Some uh -huh. stuff real quick, and then uh -huh. you have you know the poster of the first issue. Dope. Then this, then this angelic vibe of Absolver over here just chilling, you know. Oh, oh man, that stuff is gonna be worth a lot of money. I'm I'm thinking, yeah, you know I mean, because this Absolver joint is kind of crazy, man. Yeah, bro, appreciate that, man. Yeah, appreciate no doubt, that. no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, bro, man. So let's just get into this, man. So this is all. This is a family show, man. So we want everybody to leave feeling like, yo, like I know this dude. Like I've read his yeah. books. Now I know who Jamel Lessie is. Right. So I got to ask because everybody want to know. What's one weird, I think I know the answer to this question. I think. What's one weird quirky thing about yourself that only somebody that knows you very well would know? I think I know what it is. Yo. Honestly, a weird quirky thing. Uh-huh. I'm just mad competitive. Say that again. I'm just like mad competitive. Competitive, huh? But, but like, not in the sense like I got to compete with everybody. Like, I don't even know if competitive is the right word. It's like, you can't tell me I can't do something. I won't be able to do something. Like, there's always a waste. I'm going to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. That's that's good. That I, I feel like that's kind of a cop out. You know what I mean? That's not uh, weird, quirky. I like that. I like that though. I I, I can admire that though. But yeah. I. That's just what, that's what it is. I I don't know. I I ain't changed. I just I really don't know. I I thought about it. I. You know, you can tell me better than I can tell you. Nah, man, because my my idea actually was wrong. So I don't know. I don't no, really I know. 
got a hit with it. You might be right. I don't all know. Right, well, look. All right. So looking at you, like that, you know. I, I was gonna go with like, like, like foot fetish, like. Oh. <laughs> like like you it <laughs> hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up yo bro, bro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> yo bro like you like yeah like you like you know, you know, the, oh, <laughs> type of boys i got i got i got crackhead lines over that type of shit. <laughs> Like I can't have I can't do it to y'all, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, but it's all good, man. Yo, listen, man. That absorber joy is looking crazy. That absorber joy is looking crazy. Um, yo, tell us a little bit about that, man, because uh, I see you got number two coming out. So, right, right. so let let it bring us into that story a little bit, man, so we get a little bit more information on that. About issue two or issue one. Well, issue one, but just like how does issue one lead into issue two? Like, what's what's this about? What is what? Who is absorber? Like, who is that? Yo, Absolver is a mezzo that comes back to life from the oblivion. And for people that don't know what a mezzo is, um, you know, so he heaven has its angels and hell has demons, but then there's oblivion, aka limbo, like right there in the middle. And their spirits are known as mezzos. Uh -huh. What separates mezzos from angels and demons is basically based on how you lived, that's going to be your purpose as a spirit. As a mezzo. Got you. And the whole purpose of mezzos is just, it's just really about balance. Like heaven is extremely good. You know, hell is extremely bad. Uh -huh. You never know what role a mezzo would take. They would pretty much control their own fate. Okay. So they could go either way. They could be either good or bad. It, it just depends. Or just stick to themselves. Dope, right. dope. Dope. So, yeah. uh, so now you're on issue two of this. Um, you're on issue two of this joint right here. Right. And, uh, pr prior to this, like, if I'm not mistaken, um, you you went you went crazy. Uh, you actually you and your whole team, uh, y'all yeah. went crazy. Y'all went crazy with the um, with with this Kickstarter, man. Like, uh, eight thousand uh seven hundred twenty three dollars. Like, yeah, like, bro. Like how much percent is that? Like five million? How much? How much percent over the goal did you make on that? Uh, three hundred percent. Three hundred percent funded on that. So obviously, clearly, and obviously, people was looking out for y'all. People was like checking for y'all for sure. Right, right. Because that's like four times what I funded. So I'm just like, that's 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 beast. Um, right. so what's what? How? I know that anybody that's probably never ran a Kickstarter or somebody that plans to run a Kickstarter, what did y'all do, man? Because I want to know too. What, what what did you do so special that helped y'all make 300% funding? Like, what was some of the tactics? You want the secret ingredient, huh? Yes, I want the secret sauce. Pause. Listen, there's nothing like having a great team. Team effort. And, and, and on top of having the the team is just the, the mindset of the team. You know, everybody wants to, everybody needs to just be on the same wave, want the same thing and put the right energy out there. And then, you know, and then on top of that, you know, the last ingredient is having a great fans and supporters, you know? So, but it really started with the team, bro. Like I, I believe we accomplished that because of every of each other you know and then the, the fans were just great they all came out the supporters you know family friends you know we wouldn't have done none of that without them that's dope bro and and it's concrete right concrete comics is the, so that's the team is that the company is that like this what is concrete what is that well we sent shirtless pics out to Jamil to the 65 plus community that showed out to the Kickstarter. <laughs> do you see who I'm getting online though? Is this, is this what we, is this what you did? Oh, so you, oh, oh, so you oh. got, uh, okay, that's how you did it. I got you, bro. You see what we're doing? I feel you, man. Oh, wait, hold on. But I, I heard that you don't even like feet, you like ankles. I mean, it's fine, bro. I'm, we not here to judge. We family here, man. Ah, bro. <laughs> we we uh, family bro. here, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what projecting is? Oh yeah, so yeah, uh, I think he's projecting. You know, uh, let, let let that slide. 
Oh, um, damn it. <laughs> what is concrete? Um, listen, concrete started with Lonzo Star. You know, concrete was his brainchild and whatnot. And you know, I just happened to bump into him, and while he was starting Concrete Comics, and then you know, it just became what it is. You know, it's really a family-oriented brand. Brand. You know, we 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 play fight like brothers and sisters. You know, we um. We, 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 we get into it every now and then, but not on some dumb shit, but on some, you know, we try to make this work and be great for everybody. And we always find a way to work it out, you know? So if anything, Concrete Comics is a family and we're naturally, we're all passionate about this comic book thing. And we're all really trying to just have a legit comic book business and give everybody legit comic book experiences that we all fell in love with growing up. Dope, dope. There's something, there's something that you had told me before, and I was like, that's like the craziest like mission statement I ever heard. I probably won't be able to say it or articulate it the way that you articulated it, but you said something along the lines of, if uh, there's like a hundred characters, and only twenty five percent of them are are people are characters of color, then concrete wants to make the other seventy five. Is that so? I, I, did I say it right? Or was that, or I mean, that? I mean, that's, that's just the gist of it you know it's 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 all about balance you know we're not here to say that you know the character uh, white characters aren't important we're not here to say we we're, we're here to abolish any of that we're here to say you know if if if, if it's predominantly white characters we're here to create balance gotcha you know, we had a great balance. If there's a hundred of you and ten of us, Concrete wants to do the other ninety. That dope. that's basically what it is. That's dope, man. And, and you know what? I bring up that because I bring up because this. All right. So I've been on. I've been on a different end of the spectrum when it came to that. Uh, my average Joe series. The the lead is is a Caucasian dude. Uh, right. And man, bro, like I became for a second. I became like uh public enemy number one for a quick second <laughs> among a group among groups of people and i'm just like oh like i mean i wanted to say y'all taking it too serious but then i'm like i understand it at the same time they like man how you 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 don't make a character that that look like you but instead you're gonna i mean i heard the worst of it man i heard that i'm servicing the the, 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 the uh, i didn't want to say it I, I was i was like god i was like man it, uh, it raised a very uh, interesting question topic. I think you talked, you spoke about this online before too. You made a thread about it, and I think that's how I met you. You made a thread yeah, about I mean, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's how I met you. You made a thread about it, and I chimed in too. Like, man, like, can I, can I, can I make another? The question is, uh, must creators of color make characters of color? Like, all right, I get it. I, I totally get it. Like, I definitely want to make characters that look like me. I definitely want to see myself in the characters that I put out. But, you know, at the same time with the average Joe thing, if if I must uh, explain it, image is everything, isn't it? Um, in the world that we live in, <laughs> I didn't want my con my contribution to be uh, putting a black man in a ski mask with two guns and having them run around in a comic book. I didn't want that to be my con contribution. That's why I didn't do it. But uh, right. everybody, yeah. So that's where everybody's like, "Oh man, you service in the white man." I'm, I'm like, "Nah, man." Like, I felt no need to answer it, but that's what it was. But how do you feel about that, though? Like, do you, like, all right, say that I or a creator never a creative co of color never ever made a character of color. How would you feel about that? Um, I will find. I would say it's forced forced explain because as a creator you 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 your imagination comes from something 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 triggers and pulls pulls that creativity out of you and if you grew up as a person of color how can you not at least once or a few times create something that you yourself experience or witness your brother your mother your sister your friends experience you know there's so 
in, in theory, you might have created a story that happened to your brother that looked like you, but then you gave it white skin. Mm -hmm. it, to me, it's like you're forcing, you know, and, and, and I guess forcing might be the wrong choice of words, mm -hmm. but um, I just find it the way I see it. If you're going to create 10, at least give yourself five to six of you, you know, and I understand it and I understand it. Um, and I, and I agree with you. I agree with you, uh, for a lot of it. And I just don't think personally that it's to the point that like the level where people say, well, you never made, well, this is my first, this is my first book, but people say you never made anything, uh, any characters look like you, you must not like yourself. And it's just like, what? like, no, this, that, it, <laughs> you know that, that doesn't belong to everybody. That's just that's fair to say. That doesn't belong to everybody, you know. Um, I just feel as if, you know, we have no right to be prematurely judgmental. Uh -huh. You know, I, when I made that post, I wasn't doing that to judge anybody. I legit create that post to get legitimate answers. And that post so, went crazy. Yeah, some people got defense defensive. Some people took it to the extreme. You said your piece, and I hit you up like, nah, fam, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? And because yeah, yeah. I wasn't judgmental, here we are today as good friends because, you know, that wasn't my my reason. I was supposed to do something based off of that thread, which I am. Uh -huh. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, to me, I just feel as if, like, because of the, because of what's going on, uh-huh. As creators of color that we have responsibilities and with the route you went I'm glad that you created such a great book it wasn't like it wasn't bad to read it wasn't it, it was like yo that that was a great experience appreciate you know? it. so now so now it's we can look beyond that you know what I'm saying? It's no different than I can never pronounce his name, but the the black guy directed Underworld. It, we could simply say like, "Yo, why did you go with a black lead?" But right. we don't know how his hands was tied. But other than that, let's just say let's forget all that. It doesn't change the fact that we all grew up loving Underworld and we appreciate him as the black director behind that. You understand what I'm saying? Now Underworld was trash. <laughs> now it's now you got. Two, two negatives. You know. Now you got it. Now you got problems on your hands. Right. So we just we 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 have a responsibility to. You know, I wrote a poem a while back, and you know, people of color, we we have to work twice as hard at everything. We got to be twice as great at everything we do, because you know we already have a small window. You know what I'm saying? And once we get in, if we have the opportunity. You know, we got to take advantage of that space. Right. I agree. I agree. So, you know, it's not a problem to me. So to be honest with you, it's not a problem that your characters don't represent you. But if your work is great, I'm happy that you're a great writer. You know, you're a great creator. But I have a problem if I see you have 20 characters or your own quote unquote Avengers and at least... And you still making yourself the minority and not the lead. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like, I'm uh, like, yeah, that's a great, that's a great point. <laughs> yeah, that's a great point. You know, that's like, a, that'd be a good point. Oh, yeah. Still making yourself the minority. That's a great point, man. And one thing, one thing that I pride um uh, concrete on, man, is that you guys like, you really make some very great uh, characters of color. Um, uh, I mean, I think a lot of people that I put you put them onto you guys that's one of the things that they like uh they see themselves in the characters and um quick question is odina based on somebody real i'm just asking just see is that like um, my real or is that just something made up i would say yes or no but anaji tells it better than me i, I don't want to spoil it because i figure you're going to interview him soon one day too okay so yeah okay you okay. know what i'm saying but okay. yeah if it's one thing i do love about Odina uh -huh. is that she is sexy without selling sex. Mm -hmm. 
I know what I'm saying? And I yo, when I saw that character, I had yo instantly I'm like, yo, Najee's gonna be my dude. You know, that that boy is dope. You know, you know, we're gonna be boys because you know right. that that's that's respectful. You know, so mm -hmm. that's that's what that is. All right, let's look in the chat right fast. So uh Lonzo had Chanthan, he said concrete comics is the umbrella. So you guys all are, are all under the umbrella of concrete, which is understandable. Uh Sal says, uh greatly said, can't wait for the new books, guys. Sal is a great dude too, man. Uh, thanks, Sal. Thank you, man. The protectors was a is a great read as well. So um protectors, definitely gonna hit that up. Yeah, but. Definitely, definitely. So uh back to absolver though back to absolver so uh what's next like what like do you do you know when the kickstarter is coming do you know what the you know time frame is looking like or yes i know all these answers and yes you know i'm not allowed to say anything just you're yet. not allowed to say anything yes right, I, mean, right. I gotta i gotta try i gotta try for the people you know i, but, I don't blame you for trying bro i don't blame <laughs> you for trying uh yeah man but i mean i think that uh, a good note to that is that we can't if you may not be able to know you may not be able to know just yet about uh number two and and what's going on where am i at oh where am i at but what you can know is that i can't find it where is it give me a second <laughs> I can't even find it all right see i gotta be more organized man it's all right man all right. so like you can't know nothing about number two right right but you got your number ones i think i kind of think people were sleeping on the number ones man oh, what do you kinda, mean i think people are sleeping on the number ones man uh you know this this is a stretch go i don't think people really understand how fire these books are like i i try i daily i try you know i try to put it out there can you tell us about these titles man can you tell us what to expect from these titles this is from the man himself this is from a concrete member Listen, just let us know man what you get from these titles are great brand new experiences you know if it's one thing we pride ourselves on is we make sure that you know we're not we're trying our best not to retell a familiar story you know what i'm saying like whoever invented the wheel invented the wheel and the only thing we can do is improve on it but you can't reinvent it you know and um what you get from acolyte it's a great brand new experience when it comes to anybody that's into cosmic based stories whether it be green lantern or silver surfer acolyte if you're if you're a fan of those type of stories then acolyte is definitely for you um and just knowing what's to come and what's going to happen and i'm like yo if you do not get hooked on acolyte i don't know what to tell you like <laughs> it is, is a dope book man is it, you don't want to get to like issue 10 and be like oh then you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> everything that's going to come is, and, and the same thing with dina like you know um if you're a fan of x-men and, and and super woman and supergirl and all that your dina is definitely for you and again the things i know that's to come and the things that's happening and transpiring and it's 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 crazy so you don't again you don't want to get to like issue 10 of odina you're like oh my god spoiler alert you got to go back and grab everything that's and then okay. and at the end and with absorber you know I'm writing Absolver in a way where I, I want him to, as he grows and learns, mm -hmm. is it the same pace the readers are growing and learning? That's a you dope. Know? That's you a dope know? way of going about it. Thank you, bro. So you know, if you definitely want to follow Absolver, you know, you start from issue one and growing and progressing with him. You know, that's as he learns, you learn. It's never a, it's never a. He knows something that the reader don't know. If he learned it, you just learned it, you know. So it's it's you know, I, I you know I can sound biased, you know, but I love our I love our characters. I love what we're doing. Uh, I know where we're going with it, and I love the experiences. And I know it's not on here, but yo, wait till that Andy Starboy drop, bro. <laughs> yo, oh man, yo, 
<laughs> yo, wait till that Andy Starboy drop. I was like, yo, yo, even I learned something new the other day about Andy Starboy. I was like, oh my god. I like, I like. Yo, I need some sneak previews, man. Y'all don't be giving me no sneak previews, man. That's crazy. I, listen, I need... listen, I said family, bro. You know, oh, what I mean? man. Oh, it, man. You know, it's terrible being a part of concrete because you have to know these things and uh -huh. try to stay in a fan space at the same time. So it's mm -hmm. like, ah, so but yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, I got some. Uh, yeah, definitely got some, some, some dope stuff on your hands, man. Uh, I love the artwork. Uh, I love the colors. Uh, it's over all, all around. I like it's your yeah, work is enjoyable. So, um, I'm looking forward to that, man. I'm looking forward to that next Kickstarter whenever you can announce that, man. But uh, I know the Absolver joint is coming soon. But I want to ask you this question now. So, personally, right? What's what up? are your personal aspirations uh, in comics? Like, like, do you want to be like? you know like the next you know whoever or you know how big how wh where where is it this is there does the sky have a limit you know or are you do you just want to get to a comfortable place where it's like all right i could support myself for comics or like what what's your aspirations um there's no limit mm -hmm. but my ultimate goal is to have a platform where you know our our people our brothers and sisters can have a platform to create freely you know um you know that you 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 have characters that are dealing with real life issues that sh you're going through relatable stories mm -hmm. you know if it's one thing that we're tackling I'm gonna speak for myself, but I know we all are doing it. But if it's one thing I know I'm definitely tackling is, you know, the super villains are cool, but there's real life villains that nobody touch upon. You mm -hmm. know, if it's one thing I took away from the Billy Kincaid arc in Spawn was, you know, that's a real life villain. And real life fathers, what it did to Billy Kincaid, what Spawn did. Right. And I've always took that with me. And then when I got into poetry, it was it was the same exact thing. But I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to just be selfish with it. It's ain't only our people. At the end of the day, I want to create a platform and create. I want to open such a big door that it forces any comic book industry at the top to accept brand new ideas uh -huh. because if, if image comics could not force marvel and dc to be like yo let us start bringing in new talent with new ideas uh -huh. then somebody has to and if that and if, and if that's going to be concrete it has to be us because i'm tired of the re the same old spider-man stories batman stories like, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like, like, come on there's like 20 spider-mans and Batman got a family bigger than God, Jesus Christ. Like, you yeah. know, yeah. Enough, it, it reaches a point where, where enough is enough. And I, and I yeah. totally get you, man. And it's just to piggyback off what you said earlier that I thought was dope, where you said, uh, with Absolver, how, uh, like the story itself, you grow as the reader, we grow with. As a reader, you grow with the character, so you learn right. and grow with the character. And I thought that was dope because um, I let somebody read one of my scripts not too long ago, and the person said it's cool, but uh, I I kind of didn't know what what was going on. Um, you know, you didn't give me all the information in the beginning, so I kind of had to figure it out. And I'm like, yeah, that's the point. Right, right. Like I'm not gonna, I don't want to spoon feed it to you because this is gonna be like, all right. Uh, no, so I I, I really respect. And uh, and like that, man. Like that uh, right, about, right, about right. that absolver joint, and that joint is definitely coming soon. Um, hopefully, hopefully very soon. Yeah, I would, I would definitely uh, definitely like to check that out. But um, um, another. Oh wait, got some stuff in the chat. So Lonzo says that stress goal is sexy, most definitely. It is, man. I'm trying to tell people, man. Uh, Lonzo, <laughs> he says we got that free two pager. Of Andy Starr on the website concretecomics.com. So that's in the chat. 
uh, I'm gonna check that out uh, after this broadcast, actually. Right, so right. That's like so, um, you get the the two free the free two page of Andy Star. I, I don't really know much about Andy Star, but I'm guessing I'm about to find out real soon about some Andy Star um, as soon as this is over. So, right, um, right. I think I think the family wants to wants to know a little bit more about you, man, and and rightfully so in this climate. I gotta know, man. I gotta know who who you got, man. <sighs> Who, who you got? Lakers, bro. Lakers. I'll, I'll accept that. I'll accept that. Lakers. <laughs> Mines is on the uh, bottom right corner and, and not winning, but you know it, it is what it is, you know. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, man. So um, Lakers, dog. You know what, what can I say? <laughs> I, I respect it. I respect it. I respect it one hundred percent, man. So uh, I got another question for you, man. So. Like when you create, right? Are there any like special processes or like, like, because everybody has their own way of like making something happen? And I know that you create good books. So, how do you go about it? Like the writing process, the creating process. And if you have any like, do you have any like tips or pointers for people who want to just like get into it and start uh, diving into? Um, tips. One important thing that I, I go with is there's no such thing as a bad idea. You know, maybe it's not the perfect time for it. Uh -huh. You eventually find a place for that idea, that story, or that character. Right. Or maybe you just gotta fully develop it, make it make sense. You know, there's 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 no so I don't throw nothing away. You know, if I if I created something for one character, but I don't use that one thing, I save it. I literally save it and put it aside for the next. Right. Um, you know, so you never. You yeah, you can always come back to it, man. It's like you like I always learn that you could come back with something uh with fresh eyes and, and create a whole new thing. So right, that, right. that's a good tip, man. Um and and then another and the next thing is again, you cannot recreate anything under the sun. You're the, wait, the best wait, what does that mean? I, that's interesting. But what, what do you mean? Okay, so like there's always gonna be the story of the person that dies right and come back to life you know like yes it happens you know bill cosby had a movie like that a while back you know like ghost dad or something like that uh I remember you know that. ghost rider and spawn basically got the same you know origin you know it 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 it, it, it happens you know absolver fun foundationally has the same origin as Ghost Rider spawn. I what I'm trying to say is the best thing you can do is make the story yours. Mm, and tell it so like what you say, you know, the stories may be similar, but nobody can tell it how you can tell the story. Exactly. So, yeah, and, I, I do that. And, and truth be told, I I created this character that I thought was dope. Like like he had these stones that he put into a suit and the stones made him do different stuff. So I'm, like, you know, different abilities and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, yo, this is unique as shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, but then, right. boom, it was the same concept on an on anime in Hulu when Hulu was first jumping off. Uh -huh. I was like, damn. Uh -huh. yeah, that's why I had something unique, but yeah. so you may be competing on 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 everything over here going on the comic books but then over there in the manga they got your idea too so you know the goal at the end of the day just try to be as original as possible try to tell your story and don't overburden yourself or try to be different because there's going to be tons of unique stories if it's one thing my father used to tell me is if you're thinking it somebody else is thinking it too yeah that's very there's true billions, there's billions of people in the world if you're thinking it somebody's thinking it too that's very true, man. One tip that I'll give that I learned from uh, writing is um, personally is to know where you're going. Um, I, I'm an outliner. I like to outline. I like to know where the story's going because I'll just get stuck at some point. So um, yeah. I learned the value of outlining. Some people don't like it. Some people some people swear by it. Some some people swear by it. Some people don't like it. I'm, I'm definitely an outliner. Um, and I think, I don't know, it really helps me develop a, a full story. So I thought that was a a good thing to know. I wish I had known in the beginning when I first started writing. Yeah, no, that's, that's that's perfect. You know what? I tell people, do you know the best part about the GPS? 
What's that? It's not that, it, it's not that it's telling you where to go. It's the fact of if some obstacle happens on your path, some redirection because it can't, so, um, for whatever reason, the GPS will always get you right back on track. Facts. Facts. You know, never, you're never afraid to get lost. Absolver has three endings. Really? I know I have three endings to choose from. <laughs> wow. I okay. I want to know how it's going to end. Right. That way, if I ever get off track, I can come right back. And as I sense. write, as I, as I write my issues, I write down key things that I want to happen. Mm -hmm. Not everything, not everything makes the list, but it keeps me on track. It, so even if I get interrupted because I got to go run to the store for something, um, I, my GPS keeps me right on track. So, bro, that is a great tip. Yeah, great. So, I, great tip. so we got some stuff from J Jamel Lessie. We got uh, the team is is vital uh, when trying to be successful, especially with something like Kickstarter. Uh, and, and, and your outline is like your GPS, man. Like if you, if you really need to figure out where you're going, the outline will guide you. So, um, I think those were some great tips, man. Oh, thanks. Those were some great tips, man. And, and you know, I mess with you, man. I ain't gonna lie. I mess with you. I rock with you. You right, seem like right. a cool dude, man, but I gotta make sure my people know and accept you. You know what I'm saying? Cause we, 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 we consider ourselves cool nerds. Like, we nerds, but we still got a little swag to it. You know what I mean? We're not like geek nerds. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got to make sure that you've been doing the education. Right, we got right. <laughs> to make sure that you've been doing the education. So the the, the main way we're going to figure that out is we're going to play this little game called Nerd or Not. The game is simple, bro. The game is simple. I put 30 seconds on the clock. I'm going to ask you three questions in succession. If you get the question right, you will move on to the next question. If you get the question wrong, you have unlimited chances to answer that question, but time waits for no man. The All clock right. will keep on ticking. And when you get to the third question, you will win. And if you do not get these questions right, please don't call me again. Can I skip questions to go to the next one? Skip? No, we're not skipping. We're not skipping questions. You have to answer all three of these questions, man. And these are basic baseline nerdology questions. All right. So it's not, it's not no trick questions here. All right. So uh, are you up? Are you up for the challenge? Uh sure, bro. <laughs> I'm, right, I'm let's, gonna make shit too. I'm gonna make sure we get to one before I answer the last question. <laughs> oh, I right, see so you like living on the edge, man. All right, no yeah. problem. No problem, man. All right, man. Let me start this timer up. If I can find where that timer is. All right. Three, two, one, and let's begin. All right. Goku can go super what? Saiyan. Super Saiyan. How old is baby Yoda? Let me see. 17, 18, 19, 50. No. 50, yes. Final question. Tony Stark's Mark II armor has what shade of red? Blue, orange, yellow, silver, hot <laughs> rod, red. Hot rod, red. All right, man. <laughs> one second. I told you I was going to one Bro, second. One, one second left on the clock. This man is living on the edge, but he completed, nerd or not. You have my respects, bro. Right, bro. Appreciate you. Hey, listen, yeah. man. I appreciate you having me here. You know, you're... Yeah, I'm glad we was able to link up and talk and get to, you know, say you are, yo, everything you're doing is dope, bro. Like, I love the whole vibe, the, the experience, you know, and, you know, and congratulations on the success of your Kickstarter, bro. You Appreciate know, that, bro. first one out, that, that, is, that is dope, you know, and, um, and I just, I just can't, I, I appreciate you, man. Hey, man. Yeah, Happy. man. The the love is mutual, man. You know what I mean? We we will we, we ain't afraid to show some bro love on the internet. I, yo, the love is mutual, bro. I right, appreciate bro. Respect and all that color work that you've done for me in the past was crazy, bro. So I definitely appreciate that a hundred percent. Hey man, thanks for giving me the opportunity, bro, and just letting me color freely, you know. I really appreciate that. Yeah, man, definitely. Um, you definitely uh you definitely been killing it. And if anybody feels, uh, before we got here, if anybody feels that uh, they have what it takes, right, uh, to handle this nerd or not thing, this Friday, man, it's going down, man. There's three contestants on the docket already. 
50 k on the um, Lonzo Star to the docket. That man is smart as hell when it comes to nerdum. Oh, really? And, yeah. Right. Yeah, I hope well, he's still watching. I'm throwing him out. Yo, listen. <laughs> sign. I'm signing him up. We're we're bro, we're blood brothers. We're blood gotcha. brothers. It was, it was confirmed, so I'm allowed to put his name on that list. Yeah. All right, man. Entering is easy, man. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, put it in this, put a put a snapshot, put a screenshot inside of the comments, and then guess what? You enter for a chance to win 50 cash. This is done by weekly. So mm. Uh, this Friday is going down, man. So if anybody's interested, you already know the rules. You know how to get down with that thing. Yo, thank you for pulling up, bro. I appreciate yeah, no it. Problems. I cannot wait to see what Absolver does next. Uh, Lonzo already said, nah, he ain't messing with the, He's not messing with the nerd or not. He Listen, can't. Ask that man any movie, whether it's from the 1920s, that man would just tell you, like, don't listen to him. That man got all the knowledge. All right, well, 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 Lonzo, if you if you ever ready, step up. We here, man. All right, man. But uh, I like to thank everybody for tuning in, man. Thank everybody who supported uh, my campaign, concrete ca concrete campaigns, uh, backdoor backdoor campaigns. Looked at our work, man. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, thanks again, bro. Thanks again for showing up, man. And uh, I'll holla. All right, boss.